Hi friends, it's me, Simply Sherry, giving you weekly tips and tools to get organized and get prepared. If you want to lead a more organized lifestyle, then consider subscribing to my channel. I give you tips and ideas on how to be more organized, whether you're at home or traveling or prepping. And since it's camping season, I decided to do a four-part series on the camping organization that I do, specifically the kits that I have. In the first video, I showed you my condiments kit. In the second one, my personal toiletries bag. And in this third video, I'm going to show you my first aid kit. So just a caveat, this is not a hospital or a trauma center or an ambulance. It's a basic first aid kit that I specifically have put together for our camping needs. And even for our camping, we go to campsites that have facilities like a bathroom or a place where there's water and sometimes there's a little general store. So we're not out in the wilderness and we do have data available to uh, call for emergency services or it's near a main road. Now, if you're out in the wilderness or if you're even day hiking, those would be different first aid kits specifically for that. This isn't something that you would be carrying around, but it would stay in our campground and we would have access to it for those uh, first aid or medicines that we need uh, quickly and we don't have to run to a store or if the general store that's on the campsite doesn't have it available we have something here so I've chosen to have a tackle box or this one tray box from Walmart by the brand Plano or Plano and it says here uh, two top access storage compartments brass bailed latch and so here's the number nine nine three nine seven one so I'll try to put a link to something close to it if not the exact one from Amazon and also from Walmart and this was a pretty good price I think I can't remember maybe it was under twenty dollars it wasn't that much so the latch is very good and I just wanted to keep the stickers on here to show you what the the brand is so I'm just gonna take it off now so what I was doing was I was bringing our large first aid kit to camping which was basically times three of this size and so what I did was to figure out what were the things that we really actually needed for the type of camping that we do um, you know maybe we'll go on a day hike we're around the camp we're exploring or maybe some of the kids are exploring and so you get a cut get a bruise sometimes we're not feeling well get a stomach ache a headache the sun is too hot so things like that is what I put into this first aid kit very basic things and so let me see before I open that up let me show you what's on top here okay so there's actually a little indentation here so I thought that was a perfect place to put the label here first aid kit from my label maker and then it has this little indentation here I feel like it's a good place to put something on I think that's the purpose of it and it has a handle that can uh, go down and uh, it's a good weight it's not too heavy because the other one we had is really bulky uh, that's more for um, that has a lot more stuff in it and here on the left it just opens really nicely here's a thermometer and it's happened where we've gone camping and someone gets a fever so you just want to check make sure that they don't need to be taken somewhere so it also I also put here you can get these at um, any pharmacy Sometimes they have it at the Dollar Tree, if I remember right, but they're just covers for the thermometer. They did have smaller sizes, but not small enough to fit in this type of tackle box. And then always, I always have to have cough drops, and there's always someone in our party that needs a cough drop. It's just sometimes, you know, the allergies are acting up and you just need something like that. Um, so this latch is great. You have here holes where you could... Um, lock it even more and it opens like that okay and so that's what it looks like and then you push this open and it stays up that way let's start with this top section here and I have a little notebook with a pen and the reason why you always want to have a little notebook is that example someone gets a fever and you give Tylenol so you want to put the name the date the hour the symptom uh, you could take the temperature let's say 102 and you gave two Tylenols at this many milligrams then you want to give it again after so many hours so you can write that down take the temperature you can see it's going down after a couple times or maybe three 
four times if it's not going down then maybe that's when you want to take the next step and uh, bring them somewhere or um, any other type of um, medication anti-diarrheal uh, allergy is is more for notes this is not going to be extensive but enough notes that maybe if they have to go see a doctor or emergency services, you can bring the notebook and you have some information here to show how the symptoms have been, um, when it started and how it's been going, what medication you've given, because it's not always easy to remember all that. Or of course you can always put on your phone, but it's nice to have something, a piece of paper in case for whatever reason your battery dies or you're not able to charge it, uh, um, ahead of time you have this uh, hard copy okay so we'll start here to the left so what I really like about this is are the little compartments they came with these little dividers so they were one whole thing like this but I went ahead and um, cut up the dividers put them inside you just twist it off and it fits in there so um, most of these things I think I got at let's say the Dollar Tree, Walmart, and maybe a couple of things from the pharmacy. So yeah, this would be the, the Dollar Tree, so just some waterproof tape. Again, this is not the hospital or a trauma center or an ambulance. It's gonna be enough to keep you, uh, tide you over for the, the day, the weekend, or before you might have to uh, escalate, the if the situation escalates to bring the person somewhere else. Okay, here's some uh, medical tape, uh, some more tape here okay to wrap and then alcohol prep pads can never not have enough of those and then here I love these these are from the Dollar Tree so Tylenol and Advil so I figured there's four of us times three days I got enough medication if for some reason all of us need the medication um, we're good for the whole weekend now this definitely we usually camp with other people so this is going to be enough also to give to other people because um, we're not all most of the time we're not all of us are going to be sick at the same time okay so uh, here is allergy medicine and so what I did is I just put the expiration date here so that's the month and year and these containers I got I think I got from the Dollar Tree and they're perfect they fit perfectly into that box which I thought was amazing now I also found that these little cough drops if I wanted to use this compartment for something else uh, they actually fit in here I'll just show that to you okay so um, so you can make space even though this this um, kit is pretty um, filled up uh, there were still some more nooks and crannies here that I could fit stuff see so I think I could fit like 15 of them, three in each, three times five compartments. Okay, and then here we have um, gas relief. Again, uh, June uh, 2022 with the cover, diarrheal, 622, mucinex DM. Okay, that's usually more for me when all of a sudden I get sick and need something like that. I have, I always have mucinex ready, uh, knock on wood. I it's it's a bummer when you have to take something like this but anyway December of 22 and then sinus okay so here for like wounds right so camping you're gonna have um, splinters uh, you're gonna have yeah splinters and some cuts maybe some bruises um, and so I thought this is a good size it's a blood controlling spray just spray it on there uh, here's some glucose tablets. Always have those in all my medicine or first aid kits. This is uh, antibiotic cream or ointment like a Neosporin. And then this is nasal, nasal relief, nasal spray. This is from the Dollar Tree. So it's a good size there. Of course, if one person uses it, I don't think you really want to share that. Okay, so look how perfectly it fits in there and everything is labeled and you can see it just from looking on top so if for some reason I'm not at the campground everyone in my camping party knows that the first aid kit is you know wherever that designated area is going to be they can come in here and they can everything is labeled you know what you have the basic first aid kit here so here are some scissors and then um, you know those things where sometimes you're like no one's going to get that while camping well these are one of, this was one of the things that had happened 
They're like, oh, my tooth hurts or my canker sore came out, whatever, right? So we have that. Hydrocortisone, anti-itch for sure, and A and D. So those I have in almost all my kits too. And I like this where you can just push it up like that. It stays open that way. And I might have to use two hands to get the rest of the stuff here. But let me show you. Um, what's in these nooks and crannies here okay so there's space here you could put stuff so here look this I love it's a little magnifying glass with a light okay this is from the Dollar Tree so in case you just need to be able to read look at this I mean who can read I know I can't read that stuff anymore but it might be dark you need a little bit of a magnifying glass you have one there this is from the Dollar Tree and it fits right in there. It's very, um, fits into that little section. And the Dollar Tree now has these like roll on uh, essential oils or, you know, just some, some roll on stuff. Okay. So Muscle Ease, Lavender. Okay. Tea Tree. And peppermint let me know in the comments below if you've used those how effective they are this is a wrap okay and then here you have some hand cleaning wipes I can put a hand sanitizer in here also I usually have a bottle there at camp so it would be next to this first aid kit this is uh, an arm sling okay um, and then here I usually get a duct tape from the Dollar Tree and you know duct tape can be used for closing um, a wound for holding something in place like in place of a splint here are gloves and it has this kind of hole here where I can put the petroleum jelly and the gloves in there so it doesn't take extra space because it fits in there and then you always want to have an instant cold pack. You can get this at the pharmacy. Oh, so here are the, the tweezers for uh, taking out little splinters, right? So I had it over here, just in that little section there. So, And then here is a hot patch, some tissue, some more gauze. Okay, and then this is for like you know elbow and knee wraps keep it in place here's a finger splint it's like the whole um, kit right it has a little ice pack there too uh, mylar blanket always have these okay and then these are eye drops so usually uh, those people who have contacts or whatever have eye drops but for those who don't have eye drops and your eyes are like really uh, for those who don't have contacts there's no reason for them to really bring bring eye drops I always have eye drops in my first aid kits okay this is from I think the Dollar Tree and I just use it over and over again fill it up with different um, sizes of band-aids and gauze pads so you want to have like butterfly bandages and regular ones and fabric and flexible ones there. This is isopropyl alcohol. Now I was hoping to find a smaller size. I feel like they have smaller sizes. I also looked at the Dollar Tree but they were the same size so I would like to find a smaller bottle because in my other first aid kit I think I have a smaller size. And then this is hydrogen peroxide and down here at the bottom I have some vomit bags. I have this in my get well cart. I'll link that in the iCards above if you want to see how I put that together and then these are just some um, glow sticks at night you want to crack these open and just have some extra light around um, of course you will have your headlamp and so these are the dividers that go here so I just wanted to show you what they look like so I think there's a just an extra one. Oh no there's one that can go in here you see that um, divider holder there but it doesn't fit because of this a and D ointment there. 
Okay, and you can see that this was basically, again, like Tetris, trying to put everything in here, but I finally found the right configuration for all these things to fit, because they're not, uh, at first I thought they weren't all gonna fit, but they do, okay? So you just wanna put the flat things down first, the larger things, and then just start fitting the smaller things in between. Okay, that one. Okay, I will need two hands to fold this, so I'll be right back. There you go, it all fits perfectly in there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below, give us some ideas what you would have in your first aid kit for camping and I will see you in the next one. Bye.